Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Young Thug paying Lil Baby, Bow Wow calling out older artists, 600 Breezy's message to Quando, Jeezy and Gucci after the smoke clears and Vaughn's nephew speaks out. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, if this is your first time to the channel. Thanks for coming through, yo, I'm your host Celeb, the team's name is Source, and we got the info that you was looking for. Yo, the fellas are keeping it hot in the comment section, salute, and the ladies are keeping it frosty, so bundle up and come correct. Yo, Castro Carter 5, what up? Patricia Brownlee, salute, and Chantel Cornelius, much love and respect. Now consider this. Some people that move into your life could be a blessing and others a curse. Now, if you're in a fast lane of self-destruction, it's always a plus. If you link up with someone that can get you off that highway pronto before your behind crashes and burns. Now, we aim to be that voice here on Celeb Source. And apparently, right, Young Thug was that voice for Lil Baby. Now, in an interview earlier in the year, Lil Baby revealed that Young Thug paid him, yes, I said that, paid his behind, something serious just to rap now little baby said the following he said quote i was already going to the studio he was on some ish like you got a chance in rapping not even a chance like you're gonna make it rapping you can't even be chilling he would facetime me and see where i'm at and he like damn you ain't even at the studio my mind wasn't where young thug's mind was because I hadn't been through what I've been through now. Now I appreciate everything he said and I understand everything he said. I still put something into my head, but I still couldn't see it. Now, close quote. Now, Thugger made the following statement. Yo, take a listen. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you've been quoted as saying you have not received any money or any residuals from Gunner. And that you ain't, you know what I mean? You ain't need, and also, even on top of that trip. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He in jail. He like, bro, I got them get out, bro. I don't got them get me some money, man. Like, give me some bad, man. Sit down and got them do what I so need to do. So you knew before he went on his bed. You knew little baby before he went on his bed. Hell yeah, yeah. Okay. I looked at the same hood. Like it hood. That's enough money off of it. When you see niggas, you pulled in. That's you don't even need to see the bread. So a lot of times, <clears> yeah, that's, right. that's enough. I don't, don't want to make no money out of them niggas. When you see them niggas, that's a be, be be enough for that shit. But you know what, what made man? you pay a nigga to rap? Like, what made you pay me? Mm -hmm. hey, look, man. Hey, boy, I'm going to pay you. But boy, no, is it, really, actually but doing nigga, it. Like, hey. Man, listen. It's one thing to believe in somebody once they believe in it themselves. It's something totally different to see something in somebody before they can see it in Get them. Get in there and do that shit, man. And I'm going to give you cash just to do it. That shit is next. That's otherworldly, sir. Right. <laughs> For him to be what he is. You see that, man? You never know the effect you'll have when you highlight a person's qualities and remind them not to sleep on their skills. Yo, this is a mental game, y'all. For real. And life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yo, Bow Wow has decided to make an attempt to get in the good graces of younger rap artists. <laughs> that was wrong. I probably shouldn't have said it or put it that way. Look, imagine a society where the youths call the shots and those with more experience had to stay quiet in a corner somewhere. That joint is bass backwards. Look, your boy Bow Wow is 33 years old. Yeah, I know he looked like he's still 20. Your boy decided to jump on the gram and talk greasy concerning the older generation of artists, which, my dude, you... In case you haven't seen it, you are part of that older group, bro. You over 30. Welcome to the club, homie. But I guess he's speaking on behalf of the young, right? Or something like that. Or something crazy like that. Look, your boy posted the following statement. He said, quote, some of these older guys are starting to look like haters. You're not supposed to understand the music, but let's praise these young artists for making a way for themselves. Some of y'all old heads have to accept it's over and find a new way to continue on your legacy. Doesn't look good on y'all resume. Yo, yo, who's this dude talking to, man? I mean, you know he was reading something and, and, and was like, bro, just let it go. Like some old rapper was trying to hold on to his hair, but has that bald spot in the middle. You see what I'm saying? So the hair creates like a ring. We call it the ring of pedophilia. Anyway. He continued on and said, I'm all for what's going on. I love these young what these young brothers are doing. Keep it up. Uh, you guys are now in the future of this business. Don't let anyone tell you different. Look, close quote. We bet not hear this dude suddenly coming out with a track or something like that because I will be slightly disgusted. You follow what I'm saying? 
See, my understanding is an artist will tend to wake a crowd up before they go all the way in. Whatever. Quando Rondo has released a song. You know, I still can't believe that that's an actual name. Like, when I was growing up, it was Cool G Rap, Grand Poobah, Lord Jamar, Buckshot Shorty, 5FT and the, e the DJ Evil D, Steel, Tech, Ice Cube, Shock G, Souls of Mischief, Scarface. Now, we got Quando Rondo. I feel like I'm at a circle. Anyway, to each his own. Bow Wow, I, I mean, Quando Rondo has released a song called End of Story, addressing the demise of King Vaughn. Yeah, that's right, we still talking about it. And I read the lyrics about two vids back, so if you want that, you gotta go check that out about two vids back. Matter of fact, we might still have a clip of it here. Uh, let, let, let's take a look. Now, 600 Breezy, who was pretty upset about Vaughn's passing, has posted a message for Quando stating, quote, stop canceling shows and perform that song. Close quote. Sounds like a setup. I mean, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, something tells me, <laughs> Quando, you probably should pass on that. You, you pass on that. The Gucci versus Jeezy battle appeared to be the highlight of the week for most people, but it wasn't magical for exactly everybody. I mean, just imagine who could possibly look at what happened between the two artists and spit on the floor in absolute disgust. Now, some folks had memes out with Pookie Loke jumping out the casket, but folks, a, a lot of people didn't consider how the whole night would have affected Pookie Loke's family particularly his son. Upon seeing Gucci and Jeezy do what they did, Pookie Loke's son, I believe his name is Left Side, came out and said, quote, boy, that ninja disrespectful as F, and Jeezy boy, I'm upset with you, cuz, close quote. Then he added a little bit on uh, top of that, yo, take a listen. Hey, man, on, on my life, that nigga, we been staying, nigga. Yeah, you talking about? On stag game, fuck CTE, fuck 1017. Hey, matter of fact, nigga kept me at Big Third of the night. Nigga, I'm snatching him out of the stage myself. Man, man. Getting jury, snap, pocket going in. Yeah, I'm going in the nigga pocket and everything. Hood, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga? I'm a big loke. Nigga, don't ever disrespect my daddy. Don't ever disrespect mine, nigga. I'm riding for all mine. Yo, now I could only imagine, right? Like the emotions behind this joint. But, but let me think this out, right? If my pops tried to rob and potentially murk somebody, right? And the dude he tried to murk got the drop on him, yeah? Then the dude that was cool with my pops made nice with my pops op. Uh, yo, hell yeah, I'll be pissed. But I'm not sure my pops op would be wrong to feel that particular way. You see what I'm saying? If he had mad venom for my pops who tried to creep on him and pull a murk move. I mean, what y'all think on that? Look, you're probably wondering, Right, the thoughts that were in Jeezy and Gucci's mind following the events of the versus battle. Well, upon looking at it, Jeezy appeared cooler than a fan, but in an interview the next day with the Breakfast Club, Jeezy stated the following, yo, take a listen. This track. In my mind, I didn't feel no way about it because I've already heard the songs. I I, I know I already know what the situation people may think of the situation, and you know that as well. So you, you can't antagonize me with because I'm not that same person I was 20 years ago when that's how things got out of spiraled out of control anyway now we kind of got a sense that that was how Jeezy felt but the big question in my mind was what were the thoughts going through Gucci's mind seeing that the guy that attempted to <laughs> the guy that attempted to kill Gucci had Jeezy kind of sort of like in his corner in a sense uh, well According to Quality Control P, that is, the CEO of Quality Control, Gucci got into the car after the versus battle and said something along the lines of, quote, I shouldn't have done that, close quote. Now, the statement is in regards to being disrespectful. Now, that statement is indeed coming from a third party, but consider this, right? Before he tweeted, the third party tweeted that out, 
he had to have heard it from Gucci. And upon hearing that, he probably said, yo, man, what you talking about? Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have done what exactly? And Gucci probably said, I, mean, I shouldn't have been disrespectful. I mean, if you watch the video, right, about two vids back, it looks like Jeezy was saying, um, what, what Jeezy was saying actually hit Gucci's conscience. I mean, that's the sense I get. And I think the evidence of that was saying that he actually accepted the olive branch. Look, look, we're still reeling from the fact that the two squashed the beef in the manner that they did to begin with. It wasn't something just on record, but there was actually blood behind that beef. And finally, check this out real quick, real quick. I call it the unseen cost. Yo, take a look. I miss my uncle because God did something bad to my uncle. Shh, baby. And then we got dead to my grandpa. And that's who. And he was just born. Do you miss born? Huh? Do you miss born? Yes, do you miss born? Yeah. Now, in case you're not sure exactly what you like, you know who the people that were that you were looking at. That was King Von's nephew. A lot of folks see the rap, they see the beef, they see the culture, but folks need to see the cost, the cost of their actions. Hey, yo, careless talk can cost lives, so be easy. If you have a nephew, a son, a cousin, a brother, anybody that's younger than you, someone in the neighborhood, who, I mean, who do you see in your mind right now? You, bro, I'm talking to you. Like, who do you see in your mind right now that's younger than you that can potentially look up to you? You see what I'm saying? They might not be able to verbalize it, but it's very possible that they look up to you. And if anything happens to you, they'll miss you. Consider this. Keep yourself from punishing them by actions that'll take you away from them. Follow me? It is kind of a tearjerker, but yo, look, I mean, we need to see a raw and uncut. Do we not? Yo, let us know what you think. Uh, concerning that video with Vaughn's nephew, I mean, there's lots of people that's going to come through in the comment section. Can folks please speak some sense into folks that are aiming to be violent and potentially have their lives locked away behind bars or, or even be put in a casket? And, uh, you know, Bow Wow, does he, have a, does he have like a point in trying to address the older rappers and stuff like that? Do you think he's actually making, wa trying to make waves so he can have something, you know, pop off in, in, in a few? You probably trying to, you probably wonder, yo, what's that sound? Don't worry about all that. Yo, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.